Yes, this is uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, just one more verse that I want us to see uh, before we leave this chapter, verse 9. Uh, Paul is writing, uh, obviously, and he says, whether we are at home in the body or away from it. And so he's contrasting uh, the, the, the reality of being here, still alive, still functioning in this world, or being away from the body, which is to be at home with the Lord. That's the alternative. So either we're here or we are at home with the Lord. He says, whether we're at home in the body or away from it. Right now, maybe we're thinking about that more than normal. I think for many of us, we're very complacent, very comfortable that, that life just kind of carries on and is predictable. Well, suddenly in the last month, everything's been shaken up. and There's all sorts of uh, um, concern, all sorts of awareness of death. We're hearing so many reports uh, of what's going on in the hospitals, and it's, it's really a horrific situation for so many. But I love what he says here uh, in terms of the shaking that we're experiencing right now, in terms of uh, <clears throat> things that aren't important becoming clear that they're not important. He says, so we make it our goal to please him, whether we're at home in the body or away from it, whether we are living or if we die, whether we're thinking about here or thinking about what's still to come. Uh, whether we're thinking about what's temporary or what's eternal, in, in all of this, the shaking that we're experiencing can help us to clarify, hang on a minute, what is my goal? This is a great verse right here, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 9, we make it our goal to please him. And so I wonder what that looks like. What does it look like for me today as I spend time with my family, as I spend time in prayer, with, with my God as I spend time uh, interacting with others. What's my goal? My goal should be to please him. If I get uh, uh, unwell and get taken into the hospital, my goal should be to please him. If, if I die and go to be with at home with the Lord, my goal will be to please him. May that simplicity, that clarity get a grip on our lives in these days. And my prayer is that when we come out the other end of this and we're tempted to get back into the complexity of the normal, my prayer is that the simplicity of that verse will go with us, that our goal will be to please him, whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation.